and Nemolex MR. We're going to install this on a pole mounted fixture that's adjustable. Really light fixture, up to 6,500 lumens. And what I really like about it is that it's extremely low profile. The lens is uh, this center place that functions like the junction box. All of it can be replaced straight from factory in Calgary, which is awesome. So let's take a look at the back of the fixture. The back side, you can see there's an awesome heat sink for the diodes as well as for the power supply. And there's a gore vent in the back that prevents condensation buildup inside the fixture. Lots of LED failures come from that. Neomox is engineered right around that. Uh, so if we pop it open, we'll see where we need to put our wires. Let's pop this open. So we'll find uh, the power supply on this side. So we'll enter on this one and then easy waggle connectors to make our power connection. So the MR is made such that it's a class one div two, class two div two, as well as an IP66 general purpose industrial type fixture. So it works in hazardous locations as well as general purpose industrial. The powder coat on this is meant to put the MR into a corrosive environment or something that's marine rated. So it's got a, a double layer of powder coat. That's gonna mean that that aluminum will last for a really, really long time. It's about half the weight of the other fixtures that have the same lumen package in its class. So now that we wanna take a look at the mounts. So with it being dark sky compliant, that means that there's no up light that comes from the MR fixture. So all the light goes down where we want it, not up into the sky, contributing to the sky pollution, the light pollution. If we wanna have a dark sky compliant installation, we use this pole mount because it doesn't allow any articulation. So when it goes on top of our pole, there's no movement. It's always gonna be at 90 degrees. It's always gonna be dark sky compliant. In our XR video, we've used this one. I'd like to demonstrate today on this SFY mount. So this is a really cool mount. It allows for 90 degree articulation of the mount. So let's open it up and take a look. open up this side cap and we have access to the fasteners that give us the ability to adjust the angle. Now, adjustment of the angle is necessary to be able to aim the light better. Now, it's really neat with, with an MR, we can use different optics, but spread the light out, which are light, you can even do them on site. They're uh, easy to install, however, uh, sometimes we have to throw the light even further than what the optics can afford us. And so this mount works perfect for that. And we'll just watch it from this side. There's an indicator on this protractor on the side. So you just open it up, let's put it to 45. And it seats really nice and solid back inside. Find our 45. And if you had a, a side mount application, we can even go to a 90 degree and then side mount off the pole like that, like a street light. It's meant to be corrosion resistant and will work in any type of atmosphere. A really neat feature with this pole mount is it's designed inside for the largest circumference to be able to, or sorry, the largest diameter to be able to uh, fit a two and three eighths tenon nerve. That's the standard pole mount, regardless of height. Uh, and then inside there's, there's machine steps that can accommodate all the way down to an inch and a half. Uh, and then because of these set screws, you could even mount it onto a, like a one inch or a three quarter inch rigid conduit. Today we've got an inch and a half, uh, so it'll seat nicely into the step at the bottom and then we'll secure it using these six set screws.
So now that it's all sealed up, junction box covers closed, our lenses are on nice and tight, our mounts on well, everything's sealed up, we can tilt it up and enter your eyes. And just like that, we've got our pole mount on a nice 45. So 6,500 lumens coming out of the MR. And we can do this in any voltage, 120 through to 347.